ham sandwich. Here's the carrot cake that I bought. Nice and crispy, crusty. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Greetings from Matsue. Hope you guys are having a great day, wherever you are. Um, yes, I am back here in Matsue. I was actually in Totori until yesterday. And um, yeah, I had a good time. I was just there for a couple of nights. And um, today I'm here in Matsue for a couple of nights and then I head on back home. I'm here at Lake Shinji. Uh, this is the place where Satoshi wanted to come the last time to see the sunset. When we were here together the last time, I remember this place being super peaceful and just really beautiful and um, it just relaxed me so much. But because we were so short on time the last time, I figured, you know, I'll come back and I just kind of like spend the day here. I found this really nice bakery uh, near my hotel. I picked up a few things for lunch and so I'll share that with you. This lake is very nearby the city center. It's um, maybe about 20 minute walk from Matsue station. You can also take the bus. There's like this tourist bus called Lake Line and it takes you all around, you know, the different attractions. So uh, that's an option for you. But you guys know, you know, I like to walk and I need to try and get my 10,000 to 20,000 steps a day in. You, you see those buildings over there. That's actually a uh, onsen, onsen resort. It's a small onsen resort here in Matsue. Cool thing is that it's right next to the city center. It's literally a walk away. And so next time I think I'd like to stay over there one night. Today I wanted to dedicate this video to a much loved moderator. Uh, she moderated for this channel as well as Tabi Eats of course. And I actually met her in person in Los Angeles. And um, she recently passed away. And it was quite a shock to me because I was hoping to see her in Japan uh, in the new year. And so it was very, very sad and Satoshi was sad as well. I talked about it a little bit on my other channel, but this whole video is dedicated to her, Lady Murasaki. And may you rest in peace. Uh, we miss you. I miss you. And um, yeah, thank you for being an awesome person. I was so exhausted and I think it's because uh, just these past couple of weeks, I haven't really taken the time to just sit and focus on the here and now, which I keep reminding myself every time that I need to do. You know, I have my green tea in the morning, so, you know, that gives me some quiet time, you know, in the mornings, but I have so much editing to do that I've been forgetting to do that. But I really need to remember that if I don't do that, you know, then I start getting panic attacks again. It's like no wonder I'm getting panic attacks again. I need to, um, I need to just block off some time, you know, just for myself and to just focus on myself. So let's take a leisurely walk along the lake here before we dig into our lunch. Now look at this, it's pretty amazing because the water level is right up here. I mean, I'm literally at water level. I see a lot of ducks floating on the water. There's a museum over there. It's a museum of modern art, which I'm going to visit later on today. Oh, there's a whole bunch of ducks over there. Yeah, but it's so peaceful, isn't it? Let's see. I got to look for a place where I can sit and enjoy my lunch. Preferably somewhere with a table. I see a lot of benches, but that's not gonna do. Maybe here, maybe on these steps here. Yeah, this looks like a nice place. I, I could do that. All right, let's uh, sit somewhere over here. I can use one of the steps as a table. Great. Okay, lunchtime. So I got myself a sandwich. I got myself a few things. But first, I'm going to start off with one of the sandwiches that I got from the bakery. It's a bagel sandwich, looks like that. I believe it's ham. It's a ham sandwich. It's actually, um, it's actually ham, 
maybe it's a uh, Parma ham I'm not sure and then there's cheese but the cheese looks a little different and it looks like a sesame seed bagel the bakery is called Pilvi and they have they have freshly baked bread they have scones I think they, they had like maybe five different varieties of scones and they had um carrot cake which I got they also had lemon cake and they had another cake anyway it looked really really good so <laughs> I'm glad I found it you know just by accident cheers cheers everybody and cheers little Murasaki mmm 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 what that's not cheese what? Wait a minute. I got walnuts. Like bits of walnuts in here. Which is quite unique. Mm. The ham is definitely like prosciutto. Mm -hmm. Which is nice. But it's not cheese. You know what it is? It's a block of butter. It's a block of butter with walnuts in it. Yep, that's a block of butter right there with walnuts and uh, prosciutto ham. Mm. 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 Oh, oh shit. The bagel is really nice too. It's a nice chew. And the surface is nice and crispy, crusty. Mm. This sandwich keeps surprising me. Yeah, not only are there walnuts in here, they're actually dried figs inside the butter, which gives it like this nice sweetness. I love it. I'm realizing something through my travels throughout Japan and uh, I realize that I love big cities, I really do. I like living in Tokyo because you know, I have access to everything, right? And that's where I have access to the airport, which takes me anywhere domestically as well as internationally however I, I did notice something I I'm realizing that coming to quiet places like this is very very relaxing it's relaxing for me I enjoy walking around town with very little people and sure you know sometimes sometimes it feels a little like sad because it's not as active um, Nighttime, you know, it's very quiet. Not many shops are open at night. E even sometimes during the day, not many shops are open. Still, it's very relaxing. So I, I, I'm noticing that. Mm. Maybe, maybe it's because I'm getting older. I, I, I don't know. Okay, so now here's the carrot cake that I bought. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Sorry, I had to change seats. I'm sitting on a bench and I'm holding the camera with one hand because um, there were like these those what do you call those those, those wharf roaches walking around so that kind of freaked me out so I'm sitting like you know off the ground I'm not gonna sit on the ground anymore that's not happening like must carrot cake mmm mmm oh quite impressed with this wow I never knew I would find good carrot cake in Matsue. It's, it's hard enough to find good carrot cake in Tokyo. Wow, this is really good. This is even better than the carrot cake from this one bakery that I sometimes go to in Tokyo. This is really good. It's super moist, uh, flavor is nice. Uh, the, the, the cream cheese frosting is incredible and it's not overly sweet oh oh this is so good oh no and I'm, I'm a little bummed out because i can't find good carrot cake in tokyo <laughs> okay just come back here right whoa that frosting is pretty amazing mm. 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 Now I'm really curious to try out their other cakes. They had one that looked like lemon cake and then uh, the other one was 
I don't remember what it was. Maybe banana bread, I don't know. But if, you know, I mean, the carrot cake is really good, so I'm thinking, I'm assuming that the rest of their stuff is good as well. And that sandwich, I was really, really happy with my sandwich. I ate it all up, it was so good. Seriously, oh, this is really good. Doesn't that look good? You can tell even by looking at it how moist the cake is, right? Ah, that was a nice light lunch. I was going to try my scone. I did buy a scone, but I'm actually kind of stuffed right now. I'm going to save it for later. Ah, and it's actually getting a little bit cloudy and I felt like a little bit of drizzle, but it should be okay. The forecast doesn't call for rain so we'll see but that's okay if it starts raining I'm just gonna head into the museum over there but anyway yeah like I said you know this area uh, I mean uh, Lake Shinji is right by the city that's already the city center area right there oh also want to point out one more thing here there's a tower here, not a tower, but there's like a building. You guys see the, the glass building over there? They have a free observatory that you can go up and the views are spectacular. Yeah, just kind of want to point that out. Okay. But uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed my Sun In series. I've created a playlist for you all if, if you're interested in it. It is a series. It was uh, 11 days, 11 or 12 days. I don't quite remember. Quite a lot of videos for you to enjoy. It would be great if you can watch it from start to finish. You know, starting from day one all the way to day 12. And then of course, the Totori video two totori videos that I made recently you know right before I came here so that is the Museum of Modern Art so I'm gonna go in there today let's walk over there to the tip of that area right there uh, you guys hear the plane it's because uh, the airport isn't too far from here you'll not go airport that's the airport I'm gonna be taking my flight back to Haneda and you know what? You know what's so amazing is that I'm going to go to Okinawa again with Satoshi this time. We're going to be leaving in about a week, I think. A little over a week after I get back home. And uh, this time I want to go to the Yambare area, which is like the northern tip of Okinawa. Yeah, I've never been there before. We've never been there. Can you guys see all the ducks floating in the water? <laughs> and don't worry, for those of you uh, that are worried about uh, maybe there's no restrooms around, there are actually a lot of restrooms in this area. So yeah. That's good to know, right? You don't have to worry too much. I always like to know where the restrooms are whenever I travel. Just in case. You never know. Yeah, this area is residential as you can see. There's some apartment buildings, there's some houses. I think that's a TV studio. And this river here. Can you see the train tracks? It's right over there. That leads to Matsuda Station, which is again not too far from here. Okay, let's keep walking. You know where I'd like to go internationally? First, I'd like to go to Singapore to see all my friends in Singapore. I miss Singapore. I don't miss the heat. I never miss the heat in Singapore. It's so hot. And I asked, I asked a couple of people, you know, when, when is the coolest month? 
and they're like there really isn't a cool, cool the coolest month it's it's either hot or hotter <laughs> but anyway I'd like to go I'd like to go back to Singapore again this is the Shimane Art Museum yeah I'm gonna check this out today this is this is part of the the art museum one of the sculptures I like the fact that this is built on a lake and right on the lake here I, I, I love all the matsu matsu trees ah, the wind feels so nice and I also getting back to um, where I'd like to go internationally I would also like to visit Europe I want to revisit Amsterdam again with Satoshi and maybe Lawrence maybe he might join us and then um, I'd like to go to Europe uh, not Europe I'd like to go to Italy and uh, Germany and then maybe one more city I, I mean I, I wish it I mean if I could I I would spend more time in Europe but Satoshi says uh, maybe not this time we should make it a little shorter so fine that is fine that is fine this is a beautiful building isn't it there's a cafe in here uh, there's a shop of course this is the outdoor area let's check it out I'm sure we can walk on the grass can't we So this is probably some kind of sculpture, artwork. Yeah, it is. This is by Ko Yamane and it's called Stones Conjoined Number 35. Yeah, okay. There's another one here. This is cute actually. These are rabbits. Yeah, these are rabbits. Look. Rabbits hopping. Where does it end? <laughs> I used to have a pet rabbit, you know. I had two actually. Before we got Justin. This one is called Shinjuko Rabbits by Yabuchi Satoshi 1999 Shinjuko Rabbits Do they have rabbits here? Shinjuko means Lake Shinji This is nice I love it when museums have outdoor exhibits like this this one is called the waving figure. Later on, I think I'm going to walk all the way to the the hot springs area. I've never been there. I just have to walk over this bridge here and walk over this bridge and just walk along the shore, I guess, all the way to that tip over there. Let's see how much energy I have today. Like I said, I'm quite exhausted today for some reason. Can you guys hear the birds in the background? This is cool looking. This one is called... I don't know. You can't. You, <laughs> the letters have kind of faded. Okay. It's okay. It's still nice. Not sure what it is. <sighs> All right, guys.
Alright guys, so I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, rest in peace my friend and uh, yeah, I miss you. I really, really do. Thank you and I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Bye everybody. Have a great day.